United Airlines. One winning team deserves another. That's why the Warriors have teamed up with Newfront. As their official employee benefits consultant, Newfront is helping the Warriors achieve their goals off the court so they can focus on being champions on the court. Newfront is not just changing the insurance game. They're changing the way companies can ensure their team is healthy, happy, and motivated because that's the secret to success. Work, love, play like a warrior. That's the Newfront way. To reduce the risk of wildfires, PG&E may proactively turn off power when severe weather is forecast. Here are four ways to prepare before a power shutoff. Update your contact information at pge.com slash mywildfirealerts so we can reach you. Plan for medical needs like medications that need to be refrigerated or devices that require power. Pack or restock your emergency supply kit. Ensure backup power sources are safe to operate. To learn more, visit safetyactioncenter.pge.com. Get in on the action at Livermore Casino in downtown Livermore on 1st Street, the Tri-Valley's only poker destination. Also offering Vegas-style blackjack, three-card poker, baccarat with no player collection. Enjoy their 24-hour gaming floor, full bar and restaurant with indoor and outdoor patio seating, and watch all your favorite games. Livermore Casino, open seven days a week. Visit 3571 1st Street today in downtown Livermore on 1st Street. Livermore Casino, the Tri-Valley's place to play. Play responsibly. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. To learn more about our programs and to donate. Go to CarsForKids.com. That's Cars with a K. Pickup is quick and easy. You'll also get a vacation voucher and maximum tax deduction. 1877 Cars for Kids. K-A-R-S Cars for Kids. 1-877-Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Dub Nation, this is Andre Iguodala. The Warrior Season is presented by Kaiser Permanente. Two minutes and 54 seconds left. Preseason game number five. The Warriors don't play the most preseason games. I know the Lakers played six this year. How many preseason games do you guys average in your career, you think? Oh, man. It was more, right? I want to say six, seven. Okay. Seems about, about right. Yeah, I think we played a little more than they put a day. I know when I when I first got the league, it was about six six or seven. Yeah. You know. But I, I, that sounds about right. The one thing that was amazing to me because with college, you get to practice on the fifteenth. I think it was October fifteenth, and you know you practice three weeks before you get to your first game. Right. You get to the NBA, you start practice like. We had a game in four days? Are you kidding me? It's crazy. It's, cra- it's great. We had two days. Well, you, you guys had the college teams usually have like a like a scrimmage, right? They do yeah, like fans. we had a blue uh, blue red <laughs> okay. at Arizona. So yeah, you have a scrimmage, and then you play the uh, the uh, uh, what was the oil uh, company? Oh, AAU. The um, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. The, I know who you mean. Yeah, you play like something like that. Oh, nice steal. Nice steal by Figueroa, but yeah. he can't finish. And then you might play like uh, we played the uh, Soviet team one year. Like an international oh. team come over and play. You do want to play without it counting. The, the, uh, when they would play the foreign teams back in your day, th- there was always one physical guy on that team. <laughs> like just <laughs> setting screens. In her. Well, we played the Russian team, and oh. they, were, they were good. Sharunas and all those guys. Oh, that's that right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bonus didn't play. The Soviet team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Figueroa with a jump shot in the corner. No good. It's 116-92 here with a minute 49 to go in preseason. Watford penetrates, goes up, and trap. Yep. And then after that, you do your, like, uh, uh, early season tournaments. Right. We got the Great Alaska Shootout. Oh, that picture of Steve Kerr in the yep. big coat. I was like, man, I'm not Maui. Hey, Great Alaska <laughs> Shootout. It's cold up here. Oh. Although, it's, although it's fun, though. We got to play Syracuse and Michigan. 
Chioza turns it over. And now on a break, Ellaby, wide open, gets a two-hand slam. Well, the Warriors used to play the Lakers a couple games in Hawaii. We did that probably about five times, I think. Yeah, I missed out on that. We didn't get any Hawaii games. Got a UTEP game. Then driving down the lane was JTA and a foul on the pass. It's going to be a charge. You say UTEP game? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, El Paso. El Paso. Yeah. Hey. So Hawaii hey. of the Southwest. I did I did a preseason <laughs> game where we, we played where the Grand Valley Vipers play. Oh, really? It was an aerodrome <laughs> right on the Rio Grande, basically. Uh, uh, so, I, I, the one thing I remember about... El Paso is a city. Uh, UTEP. I remember about uh, being Texas up at El Paso. Oh, you guys said Tim Hardaway. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Went there yeah, yeah, yeah. and let him run out with the ball by himself, even though he didn't know. We yeah. left him. We stopped. And then I remember somebody telling me, see that over there? That's Juarez. Don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> I go, mental note. Greg I'm Brown a hotel room. <laughs> with a jumper. Wow. But that's back when you'd visit the college, your first round draft pick usually in play. Yeah. yeah. Warriors were as recently as 2000, I think, 14 maybe. They went. We went to Des Moines because that's where Harrison Barnes is from Iowa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bell with a corner three. Good. Jordan Bell knocked it down. 119 to 97, 39.4 left in preseason. LLB in the front court right. Warriors with a successful preseason. But as you know, the records really don't mean anything. But I think they found out a little bit about their ball movement, how people are fitting in. LLB with a three, no good. 20 seconds to go. Moody will take it across. And the Warriors will run this out. And. I think Golden State may surprise some people early on. They've got a, there's a nice feel about this group. And they have continued to move the ball. Another night of 30-plus assists for the Warriors. The buzzer sounds, and preseason is over. Final score, Warriors 119 and Portland 97. We're going to have a post-game guess, so we'll keep it here. But, Tom, overall, any thoughts on what you saw in this preseason? I, I mean, I love the passing. Uh, that's a hallmark uh, of Steve's teams. Uh, 30, you know, close to 30 assists. Uh, keep the turnovers low. They had a little bit of an issue with that tonight, but not a huge deal. But, no, they, I, I thought they looked good. They looked ready to go. Uh, and I can't wait for the start of the season. And I, I know they feel the same way, but that's one thing you always look at with this team. Ball movement, assists, and they've done that really well. And Felix and Porter Jr. seem to be fitting in very well. Absolutely. Kevon Looney's going to put the headset on for us. Kevon, can you hear us all right? Yeah, I hear you. All right. First of all, congratulations on a successful preseason. What was most important to you, you think, to, to get done in this preseason with a lot of new faces? Uh, just build that chemistry. You know, we got a lot of new guys. We got some young guys. Uh, some uh, got Andre back. So just building that chemistry, getting everybody on the same page, uh, building our defense back up. And, uh, you know, offense is going to take care of itself. We really want to focus on our defense. I feel like we did a good job of that. And are you in midseason screen assist form? <laughs> I think I am. I think I am. I got Steph open a lot tonight. And when Steph made every shot, that uh, always helps. <laughs> Hey, Gabon, in what ways does having Andre back help? Uh, just having that veteran leadership on our team. Uh, uh, he has probably, he's one of the smartest basketball players that ever played, so uh, he, he puts guys in their spots. You know, uh, he's somebody, he's like another coach on the floor. You know, guys come to him on the, on the bench and on the court. So having him out there, just uh, giving that calm and presence to our team and uh, uh, brings, uh, brings it all together. And do you notice with Porter Jr. and B Elites out there that opens the floor up a little bit more on the offense? Uh, definitely. Uh, new guys are known as shooters. Uh, they've been uh, proving that all uh, preseason. Uh, and also, they also good uh, playmakers as well. You know, I don't think uh, we people talk about that, but uh, Belisa has been, uh, been getting a lot of assists. Otto's been getting a lot of assists. They uh, really fit in the Warriors style of basketball. Well, Kavon, thanks so, so much for coming by. Appreciate your time, and, and uh, boy, just can't wait for the get this thing up for real on Tuesday night. I thank you. Kavon Looney, our guest, Warriors with a 119-97 win on the 95-7 The Game. Warriors Radio Network presented by United Airlines.